You're on the island of Grand Bahama. It's the place of fun in the sun. So you can do nothing or you can do everything. It has a good combination of remoteness and a resort. There's just a lot of great things to do here, and that's what makes Grand Bahama Freeport so unique. It's a little something for everyone. The eastern end of the island has some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. And 15, 20 minutes, you can have a four mile long white sand beach to yourself. We have light white pot of sand, and a lot of guests like that sand. Kola Rock Beach is really, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful beaches. Gold Rock has the diversity. Gold Rock has the boardwalks. Gold Rock has all of the mangroves and the interesting features of the wetlands. That rock actually illuminates, giving it the name Gold Rock Beach. In, in Port Lucaya Market Festival Place, we have so much restaurant that you can pick and choose from. All good Bahamian cuisine, wonderful fish and peas and rice, and plantain and macaroni and the works. One of the, the nicest restaurants I think on the island also is Taino by the Sea, um, which is right out on the beach. Actually, I had dinner there last night, so it is a favorite. We have a thing with fish. We love fish. But the first fish fry started off in Smith Point in Grand Bahama Freeport. And then it's gotten so popular, every little corner of the islands that you go to, there's someone doing a grilled fish or fish fry all on the beach just for our guests. It is a mixture of locals, tourists getting together, and it's good music, nice people, dancing, whatever you want. What I found out that my guest likes a lot too is to take my guest totally out of Freeport into the eastern end of the island. There are beautiful keys out there where they can snorkel, enjoy the birds, enjoy the diversity of the ecosystem. They're totally beautiful. For the eco-enthusiast, Grand Bahama has six diverse ecosystems that while you're here on the island, you would want to see. And coming to Grand Bahama, you get to the Garden of the Groves, uh, you interact with our staff, the people there, and just the garden. You'll get a taste of the true essence of what Grand Bahama actually has to offer. Give you an idea, a, a close-up view of what Grand Bahama is truly about. What Grand Bahama does and, and offers, certainly here with, with H2O bone fishing, staying at Pelican Bay, is that you can actually enjoy resort-type atmosphere. The bone fishing here is as good as you're going to find anywhere really on the planet, let alone in the Bahamas. Then there is the nightlife. But I recommend that you go to Port Lucay in the Count Basie Square, do some dancing, have a great time while you're here on the island. Go to Port Lucay, market festival place, the casino, and then come to me and let me take you into the countryside so you can really get to meet some real Bahamians and learn about some real food and read the real Bahamian life. Every time they come here, I want them to have a vibrant experience, a new experience. I want my guests to look forward to coming back to my island. Grand Bahamas overlooked too much. More people need to come here and experience what it is we have. For you birders, our snorkelers, scuba divers, Grand Bahama truly has it all. You're gonna love it.